today we're meeting with Orly and we're going to talk about the recent documentary that she's released. It's called Martban Be a Man and it's a very different perspective on patriarchy. So we're really interested uh, in interviewing her and talking to her about you know how her experience was. So let's have you meet Orly. Hi! <laughs> Nice to meet you. <laughs> so can you give us like a brief intro of yourself, what you're doing here? Okay. Yeah. Um, well, I'm French. My name is Aurélie. It's hard to pronounce. I'm sorry. I'm it's not okay. good at that. <laughs> um, it's been, it's my fifth visit to Pakistan in one year. So it kind of grew on me. Um, I've been um, coming here to speak in different events about uh, gender stereotypes. And uh, we shot this documentary the past uh, month of uh, March in Islamabad, in Lahore, in Karachi, because I wanted to talk more about this topic of masculinity. So, yeah. All right, guys, now we're going over to Shao's place and we're going to meet up with Mahnoor and Hamna over there and we're going to have a more detailed interview. So stay tuned. <laughs> so I came first because I used to organize uh, TEDx Barcelona Women and I knew a lot of TEDx organizers and we all met for an event in Rio. Nice. And so I got to meet some people who were organizing TEDx in uh, Pakistan and I love to go to places who have bad reputation. <laughs> I have to confess. <laughs> so, the idea of, yes, because every time I go, for example, I went to Algeria or Iran or uh, different places that have bad reputation, I was always like extremely um, well welcomed and yeah, well received. And I mean, it was always a shift no, in the narrative. And, and that's also a lot of what I do. You know? I work a lot on storytelling. And for me, what I want is to change the stories and to change the narrative. The perception of what yeah. already exists. They invited me last m one year ago to speak in an event here, at the School of Tomorrow event from Beacon House. And then from there, I came back and started shooting the documentary and then started teaching and da, 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 da. I'm teaching a new class that uh, we proposed uh, this year, which is uh, not in the curriculum, but uh, a lot of uh, kids uh, applied to mm -hmm. it and we're very excited. It's a crash course on social activism. So the idea is to say, um, if you want to learn and to have e easy tools like this, like video, like how to do a newsletter, how to set up an easy blog, um, social media, and especially how to tell your story, mm -hmm. um, here we are to teach you a few tools. And especially the idea was how do we develop more empathy in those kids and more uh, sensitivity to what is going on around them. Mm -hmm and develop their change maker attitudes. So even when I come back to France, you know, I, I don't watch TV because it depresses me. But when I, my father watches TV, so I go back home and I watch the 30 minutes. They pick about everything that is happening in one day in the world. And I'm like, this is not possible. It's not Too possible. Yeah. And it's not possible that the only thing happening are only negative things. Yeah. So it's also the idea of the media to scare us. To make us feel like uh, the world is going in a bad direction so that we keep living with this fear inside us and this feeling of powerlessness. So we also want to have tough rulers. Yeah, true, true. So it's, it's also it's part of the, it's of the control of the, process. Yeah. Yeah. Even like with your documentary, like I hear you talking about focusing more on the positive narrative. Like it talks about patriarchy and it's present all over the world, right? But when you talk about it, there's a gentleness. I mean, there's a little bit of hope. Like I saw that documentary mm -hmm. and I was like, you know, no, there's hope. All men aren't bad. You yeah. know? Like there's room for improvement. <laughs> so I really liked that, that specific thing about it, that it gives you a little bit of hope. I mean, I'm, I'm very hopeful. I'm... Um I want to be positive because if not, I mean, it's very easy no, to look at everything and to think, wow. I don't think uh, human beings are evil. I don't think that. I think um, that we are taught that violence is the only way to deal with conflict. And we accepted it as a fact. Mm. 
and we accept that we all have to have a, a big military and we all have to fight back if anything happens. And we never question that perhaps there are alternative ways to do things. Did you already on. have this idea in your mind when you came here or did it? No, it came from being here. It came because I spend a lot of time with men, perhaps because I'm an external element they would reveal more their softer side, no? Mm -hmm. That they would not feel um, comfortable, comfortable sharing with, yeah. with friends or parents, yeah. yes. So when I uh, shot this documentary, I could see how this domination society that is very present here even more than France, because here I'm always shocked to see how everything is ranked. Mm. The first thing you say is where you studied, <laughs> no? Where you live, so that I can know who, which <laughs> class you belong to, yeah. right? These Definitely. matters. And the wh whole point when you talk to people mm. is, okay, either I'm on top of you or you're on top of me. That no? Is very there is no, like... I think you hit the nail no on the head. Okay, can we reflect on this? And, and can we... I, I would love to see places in Pakistan where uh, people, uh, especially men, but also women, mm -hmm. could feel uh, free and safe to express themselves, mm -hmm. to express their feelings, to express um, their concerns, their doubts about, I don't know, anything about career, mm -hmm. about where they want to go in life, all the things that are embottled at the really? moment. So any, I think we should wrap up here, yeah. because we haven't fed her guys, we need to feed her now. Yeah. Um, any message you'd like to give and also will you be visiting Pakistan again? Right? Yeah, yeah I'll be, um, so I'll visit Pakistan again next uh, month of November and December. So you're not really going back? Uh, no, exactly, I'll be here um, because we will be um, um, projecting the documentary, the murder band documentary in Karachi, in Lahore, in Islamabad and in different places because for me the objective was to really have a conversation mm -hmm. about yeah. it. And uh, my final message is, uh, is mostly to, to men, to boys and to men, but to show their soft side and, um, and to embrace it as much as possible. So yeah, that's, that's what I would say.